What's up, everybody? I'm the MMA Casual, and today I'm going to be breaking down the upcoming UFC championship fight between Cyril Gaon and the greatest of all time, John Jones. But before we get into it, do me a favor, like this, subscribe, and be sure to share. I'm a UFC and MMA content creator moving over from TikTok. I have a podcast now, and I'm just trying to grow my following on YouTube, and you're a huge help. So please, and thank you. All right, so after a lot of thought, I've come down with my official UFC prediction for this upcoming UFC 285 main event. I just want to start off by saying I'm a huge John Jones fan. I think he's the greatest of all time. But there's two major factors that have completely shied me away from picking him for this fight. Number one, ring rust. History has proven time and time again that ring rust is really heavy on fighters. Inactivity at all from the cage is huge for guys, especially when they step back in. Now, I'll give John Jones the benefit of the doubt. John Jones is not shy of some excitement and some suspensions from the UFC. And every time he has been inactive, when he step backs, he gets a victory. I'm not saying he's the same John Jones, but he still wins. Now, this coupled with the fact that his last three fights have not been too hot. And what I mean by that is his performance against Anthony Lionheart Smith, his performance against Thiago Silva, and his performance, most importantly, against Dominic Reyes. Personally, I saw a decline in John Jones in all three of those fights. And even though he won a decision, some people think that that Dominic Reyes fight could have gone the other way. And now I know what everyone's going to say. How are you going to say that ring rust is going to affect John Jones this year when he's overcome it before? Well, hold on. That's not everything. Factor number two that I think is going to be huge is his move to heavyweight. It's pretty obvious. Guys move up divisions and weight classes when they get older. They don't want as serious of a weight cut. And John Jones has been doing that for about three years. He's been bulking up. Now, my problem is I really don't think that John Jones' style is going to translate well in the heavyweight division. Now, he's really unorthodox. He likes to get up and close, cut you up with his elbows. He's going to take you down and trip you. But I just don't think he's going to be able to do it to these heavyweight guys. And it's not just his style. I actually think his body is the ideal body for fighting. But John Jones is lanky in the sense that his extremities are really thin. And he's been able to abuse his reach advantage at the light heavyweight division. But now it's going to be a lot less of an advantage in the heavyweight division. And coming in with those short extremities, I mean, sorry, not short extremities, they're extremely long. Those thin extremities, I think they're going to be heavily abused. And now that brings me to my official prediction and breakdown. So ladies and gentlemen, drum roll please. Thanks a lot. Cyril Gaon is going to win this fight in the third or fourth round by TKO. Yes, you heard it here first with the MMA casual. Now, why in the world am I saying that? I can't wait to hear your comments. Well, quite frankly, I just told you. I think that John Jones' extremities are really thin, and I think he's not used to getting hit by heavyweights. And he's fighting a guy who's a heavyweight and hits like a heavyweight, but moves like a middleweight. So I think that the secret and the key for Cyril Gaon is going to be abusing his legs and John Jones' body As soon as he's able to do this with a quick start, I think he can limit John Jones' movement. And I think if he keeps a distance, he'll be able to stop uh, John Jones from being as unorthodox as he's always being, bringing in his knee, I mean, his elbows, his knees, trying to trip Cyril Gaon and get him on the ground. That's the secret to success. Limit John Jones' movement, keep your distance, abuse the legs. I think that those are the biggest factors and the biggest thing that Cyril Gaon's going to be doing. Now, John Jones, on the other hand, what are his keys? Well, Just the opposite. Number one, I hope his style translates well. I hope he can get close to Cyril Gaon if he's able to utilize, you know, his unorthodox uh, style, get some good elbows in there, shake him up, cut him up, get him bleeding, you know, utilize some good knees and just close the distance. Have Cyril Gaon worry about his striking, then he's going to be able to trip him up, take him to the ground. And if it goes to the ground and it stays there for too long, I don't see Cyril Gaon getting out of this one. So I do believe Cyril Gaon will win by TKO third or fourth round. But yes, don't get it twisted. John Jones can still win this fight. And it might be by submission or it even might be by decision. But I really don't feel it's going to go the distance. So do me a favor. I'm dying to hear all you guys and the criticism and what you're going to say about me and the casual takes, this, that, or the other. Do me a favor. Like this, share it, and let me know who you're taking for the main event of UFC 285. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you. Don't forget to subscribe.